In late October, the sun has driven away the chill. The vast mud flat along the Tiaozini wetland also becomes noisy. The migrant birds from Siberia arrive at first. Before the departure for the south, they have to take every minute to feed themselves. Among them, there is a special little one who carries a piece of tableware by itself. This little spoon-billed sandpiper is no larger than a palm, and it has a beak shaped like a spoon. Its beak tip is wide and is distributed with more nerve endings than other sandpipers. The beak could help it to sense the prey under the damp slough. With such a special beak, spoon-billed sandpiper usually walks with its head bowing. It keeps diving its beak into the water, just like a shovel turning the earth, in search of lobworms and other little invertebrate organisms. As an endemic species, on the migrating path from East Asia to Australasia. Spoon-billed sandpipers rely heavily on the coastal mudflats during migration. Every year, more than half of the spoon-billed sandpipers in the world would arrive at the Tiaozini wetland, which is the major place for them to cluster at, to forage and molt. The bird wears a yellow bird banding on its leg, numbered VE. This is its second year to stop over at Tiaozini after departing from its breeding ground. The weight of a spoon-billed sandpiper could reach 40 grams. However, after flying over 5,000 kilometers, their weight would drop by nearly a half. The bird annulet on its leg not only signals its breeding habitat of Kamkatcha Peninsula of Russia, but also means a lonely fate. In the past 40 years, the number of spoon-billed sandpipers in the world has dropped sharply from over 5,000 to less than 500. And it is very likely that they will go extinct in the coming decade. To protect the endangered spoon-billed sandpipers, people put bird bandings on their legs, closely tracking their migration. The method was invented about a hundred years ago. A high school teacher from Denmark, Hans Mortensen, had been a bird lover for his entire life. He has equipped over 6,000 birds with the annulets. In the following century, the annulets have developed from a simple aluminum ring to plastic bandings in different colors which represent different regions. Today, his invention has been upgraded. People have started to installing positioning devices in the body of spoon-billed sandpipers, expecting to locate their new habitats and better understand the species. as the winter is at the corner. The fully charged spoon-billed sandpipers begin to gather together and prepare to fly southward downwind. They will continue the journey to the other hemisphere. For them, a short stay is to better start a new journey. For many thousands of miles, above mountains and seas, under the sparkling stars, there is a world for them to fly freely. <laughs> 